Henrich. Greetings, friends. My name is Rhys Ap Griffith. You've all heard of me, the Lord Rhys, huh? After everything that I've done for the south of Wales, the Haybarth, you, uh, you probably sing songs about me every day. There must be a statue of me here somewhere. No? This is a disgrace. After everything I've done for Wales. I, Rhys Ap Griffith, was born in 1132. And I come from a family of fierce fighters. I was the one who made sure that Harry II, England's king, did not trespass into Wales. I come from a family of fierce fighters. My granddad, Rhys Ap Teudur, was a fierce fighter. My father, Griffith Ap Rhys Ap Teudur, was a fierce fighter. You do know what an app is, yes? No! It's not a thingy from an iPad or an iPhone. No! Let me teach you. Let me teach you. My great-granddad was Teudor. He had a son called Rhys Ap Teudor. He then had a son called Griffith Ap Rhys Ap Teudor. Yes, Ap is son of. You, you've got that now, yes? My father, Griffith, had a son. Me. Rhys Ap Griffith. But imagine if they'd called me Rhys Ap Griffith Ap Rhys Ap Teudor. Imagine the difficulties writing birthday cards. <laughs> they called me Rhys Ap Griffith. My family ruled over the De Haybath, the south of Wales, Carmarthenshire, Ceredigion, and Pembrokeshire. As I've said, my father was a fierce fighter, but my mother was also a fierce fighter. Her name was Gwenllian. And she was from North Wales. She was most famous for fighting against the Normans <laughs> at Kidwelly Castle. And unfortunately, my mother died fighting with my brother Morgan against the Normans. But there is a monument there at Kidwelly Castle till this day. And it is called Maesquintia. We, the Welsh, like to fight against each other. We, the Welsh, also like to fight against the English. And sometimes the Welsh and the English would come together and fight against the Normans. There was a lot of fighting in the Middle Ages. During my time, there was a ruthless and determined king on the throne of England. His name was Henry II. Henry II was determined to win all of the lands and castles in Wales. He would not stop until he'd kill every man, woman and child. In the meantime, I was fighting fiercely in the west of Wales with my sons, Howell and Meredith. We were fighting for the lands of Llandovery and Ceredigion. But unfortunately, this happened. As you have captured Landavri, I will capture your sons, Howell and Redder. Soldiers, capture them. <laughs> oh no. And because Harry II had captured my sons, Howell and Meredith, we beat the English and we pushed their army back to their own country. And because of this, Harry II decided to go to France to fight the Normans for a full four years. Whilst the English were out in France, we, the Welsh, fought against the Normans who were here occupying our castles and our lands. It was hard work, but one of my favourite things was capturing Norman castles. And this is how it was done. Me and my army were sitting on our horses underneath the trees in the shadows of the castle. We were waiting patiently, quietly. The only thing you could hear were the horses neighing. Neigh! And maybe a few hooves 
hitting the floor impatiently. My heart was pounding. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, as we waited to hear the horn sound. And then... We were going into battle. The horses started galloping. The soldiers were shrieking. Swords were clinking. Clink, 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 clink. My heart was pounding. Boom, 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 boom. The horn was shrieking. And as we neared the castle, the Normans were on their horses, galloping towards us. We were galloping towards them. Soldiers were shouting. Swords were clinking. Clink, 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 clink. Hearts were pounding. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. The horn was sounding. And one by one, those Norman soldiers would fall and scream in pain. Ah, 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 as they fell to their deaths. I can still smell the blood and sweat to this day. Tasty. After beating the Normans, we would then capture the castle and burn it to the ground. We would then capture the Norman leader and we would not let him go until those Normans paid a fair ransom for him. And that's what we the Welsh did while England were in France. But Henry came back. I and my Welsh army had done a great job recapturing lands and castles here in Wales. And because of this, Henry, oh, he was very angry. He was even more determined now to catch us and kill us all. But I was a fierce fighter and I came from a family of fierce fighters. So when I took my Welsh army to meet that English army in Pencader, well, unfortunately, I was caught and I was thrown in jail. Oh! For a few weeks, Henry didn't know what to do with me. No, no. So he decided to let me go. And I went back to fighting against the Normans. Yes. And I recaptured Kilgeran and Cardigan Castle. For the next 10 years, that's what I did. I fought against the Normans, and Henry wanted to become my friend. He could see that I was very good at fighting against the Normans, so he decided to shake hands with me. He gave me a new title, and he called me the Lord Riss. <laughs> there was peace now in the lands for many years. I was allowed to rule a large area of land, and in the middle of it, Denever Castle. I was living between two castles. One was Denever Castle, and the other, Cardigan Castle. Now, I did like Denever Castle, but my favourite was Cardigan Castle. You see, I used to like to go on my holidays to Cardigan. <laughs> now, do you remember who I stole that castle from? Well, we took it from the Normans. It was a wooden castle, which we burnt to the floor. <laughs> and then we rebuilt that castle out of stone. This was to be the first stone castle here in Wales. <laughs> it was a smart and grand castle with grand fireplaces in every room. There were large tapestries running down the stone walls to make sure the castle was nice and warm. <laughs> now, I would go on my holidays, as I said, to Cardigan Castle, but I would send three servants two days ahead of me to prepare the castle for me. They had specific jobs. The first job was that of the cleaner. The second job was for the cook. Mmm, mon ami. And the third job was that of Wee Willy Winky. Because 
we Willy Winky would have to keep all the beds warm before we turned up, because there were no electric blankets, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> you see, we had a lot of work to do and to prepare for a large party. I was going to hold the largest party of all, here, here in Cardigan Castle, on Christmas Day 1176. Do you like parties? Ha, well, this was going to be one of the finest parties around. You see, this party was going to have special food, special entertainment, special competitions. Now, they still hold a party in Wales like this every year. Do you know what it is? Yes, the Eisteddfod. <laughs> and I, the Lord Rees, was the first to hold a Eisteddfod at Cardigan Castle on Christmas Day in 1176. Now, they would hold these Eisteddfods with very special competitions. They would have instrumental competitions. Some people would play the pipe. Some people would play the cruth. And some people would play the harp. Now, my favourite competition was that of the poetry competition. Oh, I loved the poets. And during my time, we had some of the most, well special poets around. People like Gwynvarth Brecheniog and Cecil Brifurch, who wrote poems all praising me. <laughs> Things like this. I, th I sing the praise of old Lord Rhys, the wisest in the land. His welcome, oh, so glorious. His castles, oh, so grand. What a wonderful poem, huh? Oh. You see, I did love these poets. And because of this, I could see that they were going around the land praising me as if they were the television of the internet today. And because of their great work, I decided to give them a prize. I wanted to give them a competition where they could win the chair. Yes, the ceremonial chair. <laughs> at the Estevot. <sighs> and after all of this competing, we would then feast. My cooks had been working hard, creating all kinds of deliciousness. Yes, we would feast on all kinds of meats, like rabbit, deer, pigeon and swan, all sweetened with honey. But my favourite meat was that of the hedgehog. You see, it was tasty and practical. After eating that sweet treat, you could then clean your teeth with its prickles. <laughs> yes, it was a wonderful day. That of the first ever Estevod. And after Henry II had made me a lord, there was 20 years of peace in the land. I, at last, had earned the respect of the King of England, and I was also respected as a great leader in Wales. I brought law and order to the country, as well as putting money towards the monasteries in Strata, Florida, Whitland, and Tally. I also gave money to the churches, because, you see, I was a very important man, Rhysap Griffith. Remember my name. I am Lord Rhys! <laughs> <laughs>